Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and this is the Storyteller Forecast for Cancer for April 2013. So if Cancer is your sun sign or Cancer is your rising sign, then this is for you. Check out the link below this website to um, see my website um, and see more about personal readings, free newsletters, free gifts, and more. Or you can go to AnnieHelpsYou.com if you don't see the link under there. So April is a very exciting time in the cosmos. And um, I'm going to go into some details as why, as to why. The astrological calendar starts when the sun goes into Aries, which is March 20th to March 21st. And um, this is a really rich, fertile time. It's people resonate with this more as a new year, especially when they come to understand that astrologically it is new year, than January 1st. There, it's a really good time to um, make your New Year's um, intentions or New Year's resolutions. You'll have more oomph behind them, starting them now, than even than in January 1st, because there's just so much energy around newness and momentum at this time. April 10th, there is a new moon um, in Aries. And April 7th and 8th, there's a conjunction between Venus and Mars in Aries. So between April 7th and April 10th, there is this conjunction, conjunction, conjunction at 20 degrees of Aries with Venus, Mars, and the new moon. It's a fantastic time to start anything new. It's also a fantastic time to make babies. So for people who are trying to do that, great. If you're not, then look out because when Venus combines with Mars in Aries <laughs> and you have the new moon, there's definitely a lot of energy around. Um, second. There's definitely a lot of energy around um, starting new things. So you can use that to your advantage, knowing that that's what's going on. Wherever that conjunction actually occurs in the solar chart for whatever the sign is, there's even more energy around that particular field of experience. So this Venus-Mars new moon conjunction is happening in your 10th house of work, life purpose, career. So if you've ever wanted to start new work, start a collaboration that brought in new work, do something really bold with your work, um, become more aligned with what you feel like your spiritual purpose is and do that for work. This is the most fabulous time ever to do that. Um, we've just left a very introspective Mercury retrograde where people have been thinking a lot and been asking the questions, what am I supposed to be doing? What am I here to be doing? You know, Mercury was retrograde going over your midheaven, just asking those questions. Why am I here? Is what I'm doing consistent with what I'm supposed to be doing? Do I really want to do it, what I'm doing? And if the answer is no, then you can, you can do something different. Um, so, do it. <laughs> also in April, there are very strong energies um, involving the eclipses. The eclipses don't actually happen until May, May 10th and May 25th, or the solar and lunar eclipses, um, respectively. And during eclipse time, certain things get eclipsed out and certain things get eclipsed in. The solar eclipse brings in new energy, new portals. And that's going to happen for you in your, your house of dreams. Not your house of dreams at night, but your house of dreams. <laughs> so if you've dreamed to do something different with your work or career, then or life purpose, this is really just such a good time. If you need some assistance consulting about this, um, I help entrepreneurs to start businesses, improve businesses, and move further along their highest expression. So consider a reading. Um, but so the energies um, of the lunar eclipse take things out. Sometimes this results in cataclysmic, dramatic, traumatic events for people. Those eclipse energies start kicking up up to eight weeks before the eclipses actually happen. So starting in March, people were having sudden gaping loss um, or sudden leaving, exiting of things in their life. And this is consistent with eclipse energy. If this has happened to you, then know that there's new energy coming in. The law of the universe that nothing 
is um, energy isn't destroyed or created, it just changes form, is very well illustrated at eclipse time. And so you'll see things exit. And if the things exit before the new things come in, then know that something is coming and be hopeful that something is coming. Uh, something that I've seen over the many years that I've been doing astrology is that there can be potentials like crazy in someone's chart or in a solar chart. Layer upon layer upon layer of the same kind of energy that would make you think, wow, that's definitely going to happen because there's so much energy around it, it can't not happen. And for many people that's going to be true. This newness, this new starting, the new, all these things I'm talking about are going to happen for many people. And for many of you, you might go through this period and kind of wonder what happened. I have learned that the degree to which your inner work is not being done is the degree to, or being done, I should say, is the degree to which you have more potential to actualize energetic potential. So if you're going through life not doing inner work, spiritual work, work on emotional things that happened from your childhood, these kind of things. Some of you are just going to have certain potentials actualized anyway. But if you're feeling stuck and you've been hearing horoscope after horoscope, year after year, of these great potentials that don't amount to anything, then the answer very likely is going to be doing deep inner work. And there are so many different ways that you can do that. You can research them. I can help you. You can check out my website. There are so many different ways. But I do hear this come up periodically that someone will talk about being very stuck and not having the potentials actualized for them, which makes people think, okay, there weren't actually potentials. But it's not true. There are potentials. Uh, so think about this. Really, really think about this. Um, on April 22nd, Venus and Saturn are going to oppose one another in the cosmos. Whenever that happens, some challenges to work or home or money or relationship can occur. So if you feel some heaviness on that day, try to not let it interfere with all of the other positive things that are going on. It may be a reality check. It may be a test to see if something that you're trying to move forward with is going to work with a certain person, whether in love or business. Um, but I just wanted you to be aware of that day. So let me see if there's anything else screaming out to be discussed. Um, I know I've been mentioning your dream time. Definitely, you've still got about six more months of using your dream time, especially in very, very intuitive things coming in. And um, if you're wanting to become more intuitive or do more work in that realm, then you've got, and maybe you want to do that work for work. That would be a great way to see all these things come together. If you're wanting to start to do work based on dream time or psychological things or um, intuitive things, then that's really a perfect lineup. But anyway, there's so many different ways that can manifest. So I hope you have a delightful April and take full advantage of the opportunities that are present and take good care.